there was a significant study method effect on exam scores. And then here we have f of 1, 20. It's the same as before. Degrees of freedom of 1 for study method, 20 for error. That's equal to 5.51, our value for the f column, with a p of 0 0.029 and a partial eta squared of 0.22, which you can see all right here. f of 5.51, p of 0 0.029, and partial eta squared. 0.22. Now moving to our marginal means, we can see that spaced had higher exam scores than cramming, just summarizing that, with 78.58 for spaced versus 73.42 for cramming. And you can see those values right here once again. And then finally, summarizing the interaction effect, we could say there was a significant volume by study method interaction effect on exam scores. F of 120, 4.5, P is 0 0.047 with a partial eta squared of 0.18. Let's go ahead and take a look at that in our source table. So we said we had F of 1 and 20 degrees of freedom. That's these values right here, 1 and 20. And then we have an F of 4.50 rounding. P of 0 0.047 and partial eta squared of 0.18, which you can see we have right here in our written results. So that's where these values come from. Now we'll describe the individual means in greater detail in another video, but I do want to look just for a moment at this interaction effect in this video. So let's go ahead and scroll down here. These are our means for the interaction effect right here. And if we look at this plot, this is the easiest way to take a look at the interaction effect. And this plot, the way it works, I'm going to go ahead and just expand that a little bit, open it up here. The way this plot works is that if you have a significant interaction effect, one way to interpret that is that it means that your lines, these lines here, are in fact significantly non parallel. So, they're non-parallel lines. Now one way I could look at this is, think about what would make these lines parallel. If I took this point right here and could move it down to here, you should notice that these lines would be parallel. Right? They would be parallel lines, and that means, once again, that we have no interaction. Parallel lines indicates no interaction, and non-parallel lines indicates an interaction. If you think about that, then this point right here, this is one way to think about the interaction, this point all the way up here is what could be thought of as effectively causing the interaction. Let's take a look at what this is. First of all, these four points, notice the circles here, each of these points indicate one of the four conditions. Remember we had four conditions in our study. So these four points are those four conditions. And we have labels here on the x-axis. None or no music and high volume. So notice this factor is volume right here. And then our separate lines, which are given by different colors, those indicate our other factor of study method, where the blue line is spaced and the green line is cramming. So this point right here, for example, since it's the green line, it's cramming, and it's the people who crammed when they had no music. That's what this condition is. Now this condition here is the people, it's green once again, so it's the people who crammed under high volume. Moving up to this circle, or point, we have a blue line, so the blue line is spaced studying, and this, so this represents people who studied under the spaced method, but listening to music with high volume. And then finally, this last point or condition represents the spaced method under no volume. So notice here, recall that high scores indicate better performance on the exam. And the y-axis here, or vertical axis, notice these numbers here, these are various exam scores. 
So this point way up here indicates by far the best performance on the exam. Whereas these three points, although slightly different, they're all quite similar in terms of exam performance. They're all between 72 and a half and 75. If you look at where each of these points are and you move over to the vertical axis, you can see they all lie in between these two points. So this interaction effect, really what's going on here is the people who had spaced studying, as indicated by the blue line once again, and studied with no music, they did far better than everyone else on this exam. So that indicates a unique combination of the two factors, volume and study method, when these are combined, and in particular, when the no music level of volume is combined with the spaced method of studying, that resulted in substantially higher performance than all the other conditions. Now that's all we're going to cover for the interaction in this video, but we'll dive into this further and really dissect what's going on in greater detail with the interaction effect. This concludes the video on the two-way ANOVA. Thanks for watching.